how can we resolve the eminent problem of botting and cheating on Nitrotype? Well, boys, it looks like our friend Titanium Tendons has an answer question mark. Just yesterday, Tendons put out a video titled How We Can Resolve Cheating on Nitrotype. And in this video, he talks about a strategy that I believe could have just a tiny bit of merit for a couple different reasons. Uh, and usually uh, whenever I present a, a issue with Nightshape or the competitive scene or how to fix bonding or whatever, it's usually something that I don't know much about. Something like installing a anti-cheat system where you can ban people who are botting or going around to every account and seeing if they're botting, right? Silly things like that. However, Tendon's video discusses something a little bit different. And so in today's video, I'm going to look out with his message with this video, try to figure out what he's trying to say, and see if his idea is worthy or not, if I agree with it, if I think it's a good idea, and if Nightshade should potentially implement it. Let's get right into it. So if you haven't already watched Tenon's video, which I assume that quite a few of you might have, I, I hope that you will watch this video before watching mine. So pause the video right here, go watch his video, or at least skim through the first couple of minutes so you can understand what he's trying to say. Hopefully you've done it, hopefully we're back, and now we can talk about this video. So the main point of Tenon's video is to in install some sort of site moderator system. If any of you watching right now are active on the uh, typing site 10 Fast Fingers, as well as I believe Type Racer, this system has actually already been put into place on those websites. Two websites that care a lot about speed. However, you can actually argue that the competitive side of Nightstripe is actually more important than the competitive side of 10 fast fingers and type racer even though those sites already have the system in place the system that tenants is talking about is a site moderator system if you guys have been around for the last couple of years you might remember the news nice type news where people could comment on the news posts and share their things they can say stuff um and back when back when the news was a thing there would be news moderators. So someone would go onto the news and be able to delete offensive comments, um, mute people or ban people for saying inappropriate stuff, et cetera, et cetera. And a couple of those really well-known moderators or one of them and specifically was I Love Shoes too, who you probably have heard of before. So Tendas wishes to introduce a system onto Nightshot which would be a site moderation system. Instead of having the admins do all the work to find all these players and, and have to listen to support requests and see who's being reported and everything. Simply, trusted members of the community and competitors could actually report cheating accounts to get more priority than simple support requests. What I mean by this is there's a very obvious issue with two things. One, the Nitro type team does not have enough time to go around banning botters. This is a fact and it's definitely not their fault, right? Nitro type is by no means a massive company, right? They, they probably have, what, 50 employees, I guess. Um, and, and all of their employees have very important jobs that they need to do in order to keep Nitro type moving and updating and running, right? And Travis has made it clear in the past that Whenever they need to launch a new thing, which they're constantly doing, such as Season 29, the new track, etc., etc., they need all hands on deck for that specific thing, so they don't have enough time to, like, ban botters. So, Tendon's idea is to delegate the responsibility of reporting accounts to trusted members of the community, like moderators, right? If you've ever been a member of, the, of a Discord, any Discord whatsoever, you've probably had moderators, people who keep the chat clean. It's the same concept with Nitrotype, right? People who could report the accounts and have those reports get more pro, not more profile status, more importance, if that makes sense, right? The reports sent in by the moderators would get more priority. So what do I think about this? As I've already said, it's actually echoed, it's a system echoed on two sites, Type Racer and 10 Fast Fingers, where trusted moderators of the sites would send in reports for obvious cheaters to be banned. 
And how would this work on Nightshite? Well, Tendon suggests that trusted members of the community and former competitors slash normal competitors or like current competitors would be able to, you know, eligible to be moderators slash they would make good moderators. And I kind of agree with some of this. Uh, so there's a couple things that I both agree and disagree with. So the fact of trying to have a current competitor be a moderator on Nitro Dive would kind of con would be a conflict of interest and potentially lead to some uh, conflict of like wanting to win the season. Let's say someone is is trying to win the season. Let's say, let's say um, I actually can't find legitimate players. Let's say Unavoidable is trying to win the season. Probably not, but whatever. Let's say Unavoidable is trying to win the season, and Unavoidable is one of the moderators. Unavoidable would then have incentive to report all of these players above him for cheating because he would want them banned so he can move up the leaderboards. Which is why I think that having current competitors as moderators doesn't really work because they could have incentive to report people who aren't necessarily cheating. So, Tendons also suggests that... Uh, current, not the current, sorry, that former competitors such as himself and plenty of other active grinders that don't play anymore or don't really grind anymore, if that makes sense, would be eligible moderators. And I think that makes a bit of sense, right? It removes the uh, interest, the, the conflict of interest that some people might have to ban people or to report people that they don't, that they don't like or that uh, would be ahead of them in the season. And it also shows, as Tenen said, that people obviously know what botting looks like if they've, if they've grinded before. Obviously, this isn't true by person to person. I bet there's some grinders out there who don't know what botting looks like. However, most grinders will probably know what an illegitimate account is. Also, it doesn't take an Einstein to know that this isn't legit, this isn't legit, this isn't legit, you get the point, right? Any person could really just know that these three accounts right here are bots. Oh well. And so all you need is for someone that knows what a bot looks like and is trusted well enough to do their job to report the accounts. The admins can quickly look at the reports and find a reason to ban or just not ban them. I think it's a pretty good system because the two major problems with Nightshade trying to ban botters is A, that Nightshade doesn't have enough time to do it, and B, that they don't have enough interest. However, if people who know what botting looks like are trusted enough to, you know, find the right people and are you know, obviously trusted enough and want to make it and want to make it work. So obviously people who care about the site and care about the site being legitimate, if you get all the all those qualities in a person, trustedness, wanting the site to be legit, and of course knowing what a bot looks like, you can get all those qualities in a person, then that makes a pretty decent moderator. And if I think about news moderators, right, some of the people who were trusted were people like I Love Shoes 2, uh, Carrie Perk, although obviously I Love Shoes 2 was basically the, the most well-known moderator, Asa123. And for the most part, they did a pretty decent job. So someone like I Love Shoes 2 could make a good news moderator, but I think a, a Discord moderator, or not Discord mod, wow, a leaderboard moderator or a site moderator would really come down to how well you know the current competitive meta, right? What botting looks like, what cheating looks like. Obviously not account sharing because account sharing is legal, but oh well. And maybe, who knows, maybe Nitro would even try to illegalize, that's not a word, illegalize uh, account sharing if there were site moderators. So what do I think about this? I know that I've been talking for way too long. I think it's a pretty good idea uh, because this same system has worked for the most part, really well on sites like 10 Fast Fingers and Type Racer. I asked my friend Jisu, who's actually a, I believe, a site mod in training um, on 10 Fast Fingers, the website, obviously, uh, what he thought of the whole, you know, site moderator system. And he said it was really good. He said that it worked out on 10 Fast Fingers, and I was like, okay, sounds pretty good. So I don't see much of a reason to not at least try to implement the system. Obviously, moderators would not have the power to just straight up ban anyone. Obviously, that leaves a lot of room for a moderator to just go around banning everyone, which is not what we want. Moderators' requests would simply get more priority to the Nightship admins. Maybe they'd have Discord DMs open. Maybe there'd be an official, like, moderator support thing. I don't know how they do it, but, like, there would probably be some sort of structure where a moderator could just, like, click the account and say report rather than having to actually use the support forms. And so I think that this would be a really fun idea, a really beneficial one to try and consider for Nightship. Uh, these, I don't believe these would be paid employees. That's definitely not 
a thing. Uh, my only concern is finding like trustworthy people, but I'm just thinking around in the community. There's definitely enough trustworthy people in the community. At least there's at least like three or four off the top of my head that would be trustworthy enough for this job. Whether or not those three or four people would want to do it or would care enough is anyone's guess. But I think that if you look hard enough, there's definitely people on this website who would be considered trustworthy enough to do this job. You know, I, I mean, even I would do it, right? I'm not a competitor. I kind of know what botting looks like. I'm, I'm trustworthy, guys. You can trust me. Uh, I would definitely do this to help out Nice Guy. So I think it's a great idea from Tendence. He's obviously modeled, you know, other websites, tried to convert into a Nice Guy format. I think it works great. And I would definitely love to see Nice Drive at least try this. At least try it. I know it might be difficult to code it or to find the right people, but if Nightstripe at least tried to have like one moderator, just one moderator, it might go pretty well. They obviously don't have to be a paid employee. They don't have to work like insane hours or something. Just someone who can go down the leaderboards, find all these illegitimate accounts, go to the Hall of Fame, and find out who's botting. Obviously, it's not even that hard of a job. You know, you just go to the Hall of Fame. Bot, 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 bot. Okay, you go to the leaderboard. Bot, bot, bot. And then there's probably obviously a bot here. I probably a bot here, <laughs> etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Bot here. I'm kidding. I'm, mm, mm, mm. I don't want to start calling out people, but I will. But a site moderator could just simply report all the people who they thought were botting. Obviously, the accounts would be looked into. However, if you just do that, and then the Nightship admins could quickly go over that list of like 12 people. It would save everyone a lot of time, and it would probably help to keep the leaderboards pretty much clean. Uh, obviously, a bot in like 70th place would would maybe go unnoticed, but you know, bots in 70th place don't matter, right? It's the type of things that are season-winning bots, right? This account right here, if nothing happens, this literal computer program is just going to win the season. Same with this bot, and same with this bot. They're all just going to get top three and there aren't going to be any legitimate accounts in the top three, which is probably not what we want for a competitive typing website. So hopefully Nightshape at least uh, considers this idea. I think it's a pretty good one and I can't wait to see if they take any steps to at least trying to make this possible. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the site moderation system that Tendence is proposing. If you guys are familiar with the site moderation system on sites like 10 Fast Fingers, Type Racer, let me know. Let me know if you guys have had any experience with it because I have not. I'll, I'll, my only experience is talking to one of my friends who is like a site mod in training. Wait, whatever. Thank you all so much for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Also, I'll be doing the giveaway very soon. Uh, I know people have been asking about that. We'll, we'll get to that eventually. I'll see you all next video. Goodbye, everyone, and have, as always, a wonderful day.